In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God, the Man. The gospel that we just heard, um, along with the gospel of the Vespers, they talk to us about a very important thing, is that our duty and our role wherever we are. I guess the more we teach about that we are not part of the world, sometimes we understand as, as that we don't care about this world. We don't care about the well-being of the, of the community, of the society that we live in. It is wrong idea. We care about the place we live in. We care about the people that we live with. We care about the country. We care about the world. We care about fulfilling our role in the world. Our Lord told us that we are the, uh, the light in this world. And we are sent to this world to effect change. We, we are sent with a mission. Not just to preach love and acceptance, but also to preach and live in an upright way, in a straight way. The gospel from the Vespers last night was from Matthew, and please allow me to, to read it. Matthew chapter 17. And when they had come to Capernaum, those who received, if you can please bring it up on the uh, readings, yeah. Vespers, Dathenberg. Those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said, does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, yes. And when he had come into the house, Jesus anticipated him saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes? From their own sons or from strangers? Peter said to him, from the strangers. Jesus said to him, then the sons are free. Nevertheless, Lest we offend them, go to, to the sea, cast in a hook, and take the fish that comes up first. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find the piece of money. And take that and give it to them for me and you. Look, when we look um, superficially at this story, we think, okay, just, it was about taxes, about some dues they had to pay when they come to the temple. And Jesus was, was just peaceful, didn't want to, to, to cause any problems, so he just, he just paid. This is at the surface, but if, if you look deeper at the concept that although Jesus was God, and he was free from all the rules and the laws of mankind. But during his life on earth, in the body, he obeyed the rules. He put himself under the law, not just the law of God and, and sin and salvation and redemption, no, but he really put himself under the current law of the country because he was in the flesh. He was in this mission on, on earth. And this tax was not for the sons, was not for uh, the people of this land, was for the foreigners. But because he was asked, he didn't want to, to offend anybody, and he wanted to teach us a great lesson that we are to live with a, an upright heart in this land. 
So he told Peter, cast the fish, because this is what people, uh, this is uh, like what Peter knew best, is to cast the hook and get a fish, and in this fish, there will be enough money for Jesus and for Peter to, to pay these taxes. I just think about that. Although they were free from adhering to this rule, they, they looked beyond the rule. They looked beyond the law. And they saw in themselves, and Christ wants us to see in, in ourselves something beyond just doing what we're told. We need to see in ourselves that we are on a mission. We are to send a message of living a straight and an upright life. And the psalm before that, from Psalm 66, let the nations, O God, give thanks to you. Let all the nations give thanks to you, for you shall judge the people in inequity and shall guide the nations on the earth. Let the nations give thanks to you. How can we have the nations give thanks to God if we're not doing our part? We sometimes complain that the world does not know God anymore. We sometimes complain about the bad people the bad people outside, that they don't follow the rules, they don't know what's right, the world is, is in a big mess. But I forget that I am part of this world, and part of my role in, the, in this country and in this world is to do what's right. I just read this story and it comes to me all the ways we learn and we are seeking to know how to trick the system, how to, uh, how to play the system. We, we cheat on our taxes, we try to get whatever we can from the system, we try to, whenever we go to a store, maybe some people have um, a shoplifting problem. They go and they feel that they are just justified to get anything from the store because it is a big company and uh, this like item for like 10 bucks, it wouldn't make a difference with them. So I'll just go and take my right because nobody will get my right. So I will do it with my own hands. We justify many, many things we do to trick the system, whether in taxes, whether in stealing items from any store. And we don't call it stealing. We call it that. We, we are just taking what's ours. We try to sell something or buy, or buy uh, some stuff, and, and we just, we are, we are not um, faithful about it. But here, Jesus and Peter, although they were free from these taxes, although they were free from these rules, they put themselves under the law. Why? Because they wanted to effect a change in the people that they deal with. God is calling you in the place of your work. In the gospel of this liturgy, of this morning, we hear about the calling of Peter. God called Peter from within his boat when he was so frustrated, when he toiled all night and caught nothing. He told him, I want you to follow me, and instead of fishing for fish, you will fish for people. And God is calling you f from your place of work. God doesn't want you to change your profession. God doesn't want you to, to sell everything you have and just go. But God wants you to 
from within your job, your workplace, your environment, in, in your daily interactions with people, God is calling you to be upright, to walk straight, to be on a mission to do what's right. Peter had his best complaint is that when God told him to go deeper, to catch for, uh, more fish, he told him, Master, um, we toiled all night and, and, and caught nothing. It doesn't make sense. By the rules of this world, by the rules of, of, of my profession, it, it just doesn't make sense. There's a certain time in the day that fish will not come out. It doesn't make sense. And this is how we, ju we justify our lack of um, preaching Christ. Not preaching by word, but by preaching by our acts, by our life, is that it just doesn't make sense. You can't be faithful in a place that like everybody is not faithful. They will step down on you. You will be nothing. You will lose your job, you will lose, and we start to uh, list a full list of why we can't live a straight way. However, Peter told him that on your word, I will let down the net. We forget that we need to bring our faith into our workplace, into the world. Here, faith is easy. When we are at the church, it is easy to have faith. We're comfy, cozy together, we're praying, we're saying the same uh, songs, we, we know the, the, the words, we are accustomed to hear this message. So it is nice to have faith within the church. It's easy. But what is it? our uh, mission, which is really required, is to go outside and live that faith between you and God. Why? Because I don't want to offend them. I don't want to send the wrong message to them. Today, in the epistle to the Corinthians, the second one, St. Paul says in chapter 4, For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus. When I go to my job, when I go to my school, I don't preach myself. I don't give an account to myself, but I give an account to the Lord that I am following. People know that I am Christian. And if they, if they don't know, they should know, unless you want to hide it. And this is another problem. But people should know that you, you, are, you are a follower of Christ. And in everything you do, you are preaching Christ. His faithfulness, his straight ways, and his honesty. If I trick the system like everybody else. So why am I coming here? I'm coming here to receive a full charge from God, to go about the world and be a change. But if I am coming here to just numb myself and just feel comfy cozy in this place, and then go out and cheat on my taxes, uh, shoplift from stores, um, sell some uh, like items with, with maybe like a much higher price, uh, buy stuff with, or cheat on the change, or do like anything. So I am, what's going on? <laughs> There is something wrong. I am not. Um, I am not living a straight life, deceiving myself. 
I can't complain then that the world does not know Christ. I can't complain that those people, they don't know right from wrong. I am responsible to preach Christ in everything I do. Use your boat, use your workplace, use your job, and have Christ use you and send you from within this place. This is our mission. Although we, we are free from the law, we put ourselves under the law. Why? Because people of God, they are straight, they are faithful, they are upright. So it is, it is an invitation to, to just revisit the way we interact with other people in, the, in this community, in this country. Also, election is coming. Your vote is very important. How are you doing with your vote? Don't ignore it. Study uh, the, uh, the candidates. Look at the news. Do your homework and share with your civic duty because I am, I am a member of this country, I am a citizen of this country, and I have my role. I will be effective in this country. Don't say that um, one person will not make a difference. No, you will make a difference. One and two and three and four, if they together make a difference, we will fulfill our role. So this fine line between that we are, we are Christian people, we are not part of this world. Yes, we, we are not part of this, of this world. We don't let the world use us. But we, we need to be effective in this world. Our time on earth is very important. And, and everything you do in your school, in your job, with the people you meet, in your taxes, in your voting, in the way you buy and sell, in the way you interact. Back then, like maybe 50, 60, 70 years ago, back in Egypt, we used to hear that uh, um, the, the high-ranking jobs, like in the finance, like in the taxes, uh, the prime minister used to be a Christian. Why? Because they are the most faithful people in the country. They trusted them. And they gave them all the, the, the responsibilities of the finances of the country. Why? Because they are simply Christians, and that's why they are honest and faithful people. But these days, we don't know our true identity. We are just trying to be like everybody else, how to trick the system, how to get the most out of them without anybody noticing. And uh, the reason, because nobody will get my rights, I will do it myself. It is wrong, it is wrong. We forget the factor of blessing. Christ, when he told Peter to cast a hook and get a fish, and this fish had money enough not just for one person, but for Peter and for Jesus. There is a blessing, there is a reward when you follow the system, when you follow the rules. Don't say that like everybody is not following the system. You are responsible for yourself. You are responsible to preach Christ by being an active member of this country of this world. There is a blessing, there is a reward for, for those who follow God. Or the faith that we talk about here really does not make any sense. It doesn't have any place in our life. It's like just something to, to keep us busy in the church. It, it will just turn into a church talk. And God forbids it's not a church talk. It is a real talk that will change our life. So 
just an invitation, just something to, to think about um, in the upcoming season, season of election, taxes are coming, you're um, maybe starting to, to do your um, 401k plans, your whatever plans, you're doing it. Try to be faithful and wait on God's blessings and God's reward because he is faithful to him. All glory forever. Amen.